Yo, welcome to another episode of Design Feedback. In this episode, we're going to be continuing the leaderboard from last week. For all of you who are new here, we're going to be picking a bunch of assignments that our members at the 10K Designers cohort have worked on. These assignments have already gone through a couple rounds of feedback from our mentors. So what we're about to show you, it's not comprehensive feedback. However, we hope that with this, we're able to show you some of the highlights, the most common mistakes and direct learnings that you can apply to your projects. These have also been designed to be screenshotable. So if you find anything interesting, do take a screenshot and save it and try to use it next time. By the way, if you're interested in enrolling in one of our cohorts and working on assignments just like this, check the link in the description. Applications for cohort six are in fact open right now. Without any further ado, let's jump into this. Woo. All right, so this next assignment here, this is by Sarika. Sarika has worked on an app for gyms to manage their operations. That includes the total bookings, the revenue they've made, as well as other actions that they might want to do to make sure the gym runs smoothly. So let's jump into it. Overall, I love the visuals. I love the uh, color palette as well. Pretty clean. So she's actually designed this for gym owners, right? So when I think about like, you know, Ahmedabad and just like, you know, where I grew up and stuff, like not all gym owners are going to be like super fancy in terms of like how much tech they use. So most likely they may not even have multiple Gmail accounts and all these things. So the fact that she said that, you know what, let's make it simple. Like you don't have to log in via Facebook, Google or Twitter or something. We're just going to use your OTP and just your phone yeah. number. So I think that was just very well thought out. Mm, definitely. Now, you know, I'm a sucker for the details, the very, very small details. I just couldn't help but notice this misspelling here of accept. Now, of course, I know most oh, people yeah. would not even notice that, but uh, yeah. as a designer, I think the details are super, super important. But uh, let's check out our main screens here. So overall, I actually think this is quite informative. Uh, this does, I guess at the top glance, prioritize bookings, members, reports. Um, I guess this comes from um, some of Sarika's research around what are the main things that a gym owner or manager might want to do. But any notes you have here, Janiel? Couple of things. Uh, so the first thing is for folks, you're watching this and you know, we're being very picky with this. But see, the thing is, um, as a designer, the main thing is your craft. So you're like, who cares about spelling? It's just a small thing, typo. But see, when you're presenting this to clients who are paying you lots of money or a company where they're paying you a lot of salary, right, for this, it just shows that you're lazy about it. Like that's the, the feeling that the other person gets. So it's, it's this attention to detail that you can convey that, hey, you're going above and beyond. And, and you can stand out. So that's the reason we call this out. Now, going back to your question, Abhinav, the first thing that stands out to me is that this is going to be on my phone. Now, by the way, I've got uh, an Android phone. I know. For all the Android lovers out there, give me a shout out. So, <laughs> boo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll see how many, how many people comment for Android lovers on this video. Um, <laughs> like straight up shaming me, man. Boo. But um, <laughs> green text. Green text. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so like on the phone, um, what she's got here is if you want to access the menu for any of these things, it's like three dots. So you click on these three dots and you can see that there's a menu that pops up where you can view the member, send a welcome message or delete an update. But now on the phone, think about it. I've got my finger and I have to really press on those three dots to enable that. So I would just definitely recommend her to like figure out a different way to bring up that menu rather than just those three dots because it's just very hard. It's not accessible. And it makes it very difficult on the fly to just stop and then slowly click on it. Another suggestion I have here is these elements here, currently they look like decorative elements, which mm -hmm. is, it doesn't really look like this would change when I change this drop down of weekly, yearly, quarterly. Mm -hmm. um, it's always a great idea to have form as well as function. So in this case, mm -hmm. if you could use the space to actually show a visual mm -hmm. graph, a visual representation of what mm -hmm. this revenue is like, even if it's a small, um, just the last three months or last four months, mm -hmm. I think that could be really good. And maybe that was the original intention, but just yeah. doesn't come across. And I think something I'm realizing is that there is a lot of constraint for space, like to really fit in that graph. 
in a meaningful way where you can see something plus you have the numbers like when you think about a lot of these stock trading apps right a lot of times they just have like that number and then the green ticker up or green you know like like whatever like up and down arrow and the green and red color and they show you percentage wise simple like you might see a graph but then if you see the percentage like hey yearly revenue is down 15% or mm-hmm. yearly revenue is up 15% so in that case it makes really good use of that small space there and she doesn't have to use those graphs anyways then definitely so this particular section i would definitely suggest trying some more things out try to show that kind of um try to show the delta the change that has occurred i think that could be really useful uh similarly i think yearly revenue um although this might kind of be outside the scope and maybe you decided not to do it but it would be nice to see whether this yearly revenue is for year to date or is it last 365 days right now that that is a very data visualization question but for a app like this where these numbers are really important as a gym owner i might want to take action of some sort i think thinking about those small details would definitely be useful and i think something that i really love that she's done i think if you go to the booking page so what i really love on this booking page i've been on is that she's got those bubbles at the top so very quickly i can click on any of those bubbles and then quickly toggle some stuff the filters which yeah the filters which really actually you know saves me a couple of steps i don't have to click on you know some drop down select what i want i can just quickly do it so i think that was very thoughtful of just like having those like filters up there and you just click whichever one you want and saves me a bunch of clicks as well definitely one thing i had here is these messages right here you've she's kind of shown this as a drop down now my suggestion for something like this is look at the current patterns and what are the popular patterns right now in material design as well as in popular apps that you use the drop down pattern on mobile is kind of moving away and most apps today use a bottom sheet where they show this and the advantage of that is instead of these three areas being l- restricted to one small part of the screen using a bottom sheet makes it take up a lot more space much easier to click and in general is the most scalable design so let's say there is a time when you have five options here it doesn't really feel like it's restricted to a small area a bottom sheet gives much more space to click on these elements but i think overall with the visuals and the way she put together everything looks solid to me yeah i would make the same note here where a calendar is one of those ui elements where there are a lot of touch areas so just this alone there are probably 30 to 40 individual things that i can click on now it's not best to reduce the amount of space and make this a drop down because when i mirror this on my phone it's probably going to be really really small and really hard to tap so for an element like this it's a good idea to just take up the whole screen make it an overlay and increase the room for tapping i actually know uh this guy in amdavad that i used to go to gym with he actually now owns a bunch of gyms there so i i i know for a fact that he would really appreciate something like this just uh you know this kind of dashboard to manage everything hmm so on the bail scale janil how does this <laughs> rate i think i would give this a solid uh 3.8 I think mm. the visuals and everything are really awesome and I think once all the feedback and everything is implemented that we talked about the mentor feedback I can easily see this going to like a 4.2 4.3 sweet awesome I think this is this design is yummy and I'll actually give this yes. a 4.5 out of 5 wow uh, personally I think this comes together really well not only has Arika figure out the overall flows of how everything should be in the navigation but i can see that attention to detail so i think she's very close from this being a really really good app and a case study for her portfolio so this app is by ansh bhatia now what ansh has worked on is an app for co-working spaces to manage their bookings now i think for this one i would actually like to start from some of the process because one of the challenges with designing an app like this for the b2b space is it's much harder to find references so it does require a lot more upfront research but what i do love is ansh has tackled that complexity by using these information architecture diagrams to really think through each thing each element so 
even things like upgrade your rate what's the renewal rate things like that and create that mental picture of where everything fits so i love that he did this dude it's like really amazing you're talking about all this bail and stuff right so the reason why most people love getting this bail from a bhaiyaji is because they can see the whole process of how the bhaiyaji makes a bail <laughs> in front of you there's something yeah. about it right or is just seeing the final product served in front of you and you're like okay this is this bail so i really like that i'm able to like go behind the scenes and see how he's arrived to the final designs mm. let's uh, let's inspect ansh's ingredients <laughs> what's the quality how fresh are they i this is his onboarding flow i think overall looks great i don't want to go too much into the detail here um with these diagrams i'm glad he's able to use that to tackle complexity uh, and i think it definitely has made it easier for him to uh, think through these elements uh got the wireframes here even the photos man wireframes like yeah. he's got the photos of everything so it's like when he's going to make the case study guess what he's got all the ingredients ready so it's like going back to the bhayaji analogy right when he's bhayaji is making the bail it's optimized for efficiency he's got the save he's got the puri everything laid out in front of him so i think by putting in more effort up front what ansh has done is that when he creates his portfolio case study he's got everything there he's got the behind the scenes of like his photos the iterations the sketches the information architecture map everything is ready to go just to put in there yep absolutely here's the screens now these are the wireframes um these have sort of been arranged by flow so again great job with the organization very neatly arranged that's definitely made it a lot easier for us to go through and get a view of your process um what i will do is i think there is a good amount of feedback from yug here yug is the lead designer at procol he is probably the assigned mentor for ansh for this particular um design but i want to actually jump directly to visuals and i want to mm. see after that where did anj end up so janil your thoughts so first of all for like an app that's you know in this complex uh, b2b space i really love the minimalistic look and feel he's got and demonstrating the visuals at a glance i really love that um i think we were talking about this in one of the earlier assignments right he somehow managed to show a graph but at the same times if you're not a graph person like i mean i'm not a pie chart excel sheet kind of guy but at the same time i like that there's a numbers up there like 38% hmm. okay and then right right below that what i love is you know we talked about this like up and down is it 10% down is it like 245 how much percentage is that up um hmm. so at a glance it makes it really easy for me to see what's going on so he's really nailed that one area they can improve on is that horn button like at mm. the bottom like it, it reminds me of that uh, i don't know what is it called but like in the weddings they use that like i mean gujarati call it pipuda i don't know what it's called in hindi but oh, yeah. <laughs> it's called something right so it reminds me of that like some kind of like massive announcement happening mm. but my guess is that he wants that to be a support button like mm. so if that is a support button then i think it needs to be designed in a different way so it's not confused like i'm not sure what the intent of that is that announcement is a support and it's kind of like just hanging there mm. i i definitely agree with that so i think in my conversation with ansh he mentioned that this was a way to send broadcast messages so announcements um and my guess is that's actually a pretty important uh feature like for example if it's ganesh chaturthi and you have limited mm-hmm. hours because of that you want to send that message i think this kind of does not feel like that it's kind of easy to uh be confused like this might just i know it's supposed to be a loud speaker kind of thing but it yeah. kind of just feels like a mute button like i am muting something right <laughs> so i would definitely make this like a a pill a much longer thing which also includes the text i think gmail does a good job of this where they have that compose button but it also says yes. compose along with it um so overall that's my feedback i think i definitely agree with your point here i think this is something that we talked about for sarika's case study which is show these uh trends show the delta how much has it changed but one note that i will add here is you need to think a little bit more about your data visualization because this 10% change is it a daily change right has this changed 10% today is it a 10% change on a weekly basis on a monthly basis it might it didn't feel that obvious to me uh, maybe it doesn't matter but just something to think about and i think there is a lot of space below that where he's got like new bookings and then the number 10 above that maybe that space can be utilized to say that 
like 10 plus 10 new bookings today or something so it's very clear that this delta is it for today weekly or monthly basis or yearly definitely and he has used today here and here but personally i would probably bring that up the hierarchy and maybe just say that here somehow right uh, just to say that all of these things apply for today and then an option might be that here instead of just today maybe here itself i can tap and change that to a weekly view to a mm -hmm. yearly view right um, that's a little deep analytics again yeah. worth thinking whether you want to do that on your home page or maybe you want to do it dedicatedly on one of these pages but that that's something to just think about but, but overall, overall i think really what, good how would you rate this on the pale scale I think this time I'm going to be that uh, Bhaiyaji, you know, sometimes some Bhaiyajis give free puris. They're like, Bhaiyaji, ek aur puri jeta. They'll be like, sure, here you go. <laughs> so I'm going to be less conjuice, but I'm going to give him a solid uh, 3.8. Um, main reason being is that he's actually done a really good job of documenting his process. Like he's shown us behind the scenes of his like, you know, sketches. He's shown us how he's done the information architecture and everything. So solid job on that. And I feel like once he does these few minor changes, he can easily get to like a 4.4 and above on the bail scale. Definitely. I would give this a three. I would give this lower than you did. My <laughs> reason is I see all the ingredients here, right? When I see this, I am like, wow, this is, this looks really yummy. Like I see yeah. all of this here, but it hasn't come together. It hasn't come together in this beautiful package that I can actually <laughs> eat yeah or in this case just <laughs> see and consume so That's while you definitely have all your ingredients in place why i know while i know that these are high quality ingredients i can see your process and that definitely um adds positive in your favor i would for incompleteness deduct that one point and the other point i would probably just deduct that for more detail right i would love to actually see i'm actually very excited to see how this turns out because these look super detailed but together, I think this can be a really, really amazing case study. Important question for you, Abhinav. Yeah. Do you have a specific location or a place you go to in Bangalore for bail? Like your go-to spot? I love this place called Bharatiya Jalpan. This is right in Indranagar, right in the center, um, very close to my place as well. And I think this is, it's a Rajasthani place and they've got charts, bail, live counters for everything. So when oh, you're wow. here in Bangalore, we will, that is definitely one of the places uh, I love we will that. get up.